Hello and uh, welcome back. Um, now uh, the next thing. <coughs> Sorry, my throat still sounds horrible. The next thing you're gonna do is uh, we would need to apply some styles on um, on the current object, uh, which is if we forgot, it's uh, the diff that's gonna contain our images and. Uh, we wanted to apply the styles, the customized styles up here, like the width and uh, height, uh, as well as some other things. Um, and of course, we use the CSS function to do that. And just add that down here. So, um, the first thing I want to do actually is I, would, uh, I, w I want to make sure that the uh, that the object have a position and uh, that that position is relative um, and the reason I want to do that is because when I'm going to place two images on top of each other then I'm going to put their position to be absolute and if the current object doesn't have a, uh, a position yet then those be placing those images absolute is going to place them you know outside uh, outside the div and it's going to look really stupid, especially if you have like a, a border around your div and then half the border is going to disappear behind uh, the images. So, um, so we're going to do that and uh, we're going to make it relative. We could make this a customized setting too, you know, but we're not going to do that. We can do that if you want. Um, I think actually I'm gonna make a border uh, on this one. It could be a customized settings as well, as well. Uh, so people could decide if they want a border. But I'm just gonna make a one pixel. Uh, oops, solid. I just make it silver color. And uh, then of course the the width. And here we are referring to uh, the, the settings. We have from above and height. And then I, I want to add one more thing. Um, I, I'm not going to make so, so you scale the images. Like if you pick a, a, if you pick a smaller width, a smaller size than your pictures, then you could make so it scales down and, and, and fit. Uh, I'm not going to do that, so instead I'm going to do something probably stupid, but uh, I'm just going to hide whatever whatever is outside the, 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 the set size by setting the overflow to hidden. Um, I think that's that's what we're gonna do with this one. Let me think for a second. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Um, now uh, the next thing we should do is we need to iterate through each, uh, iterate through the pictures that are inside our object. So we want to iterate through these. So we are we're, we're currently here, and uh, then we want to iterate through each, each picture to uh, yeah to add some settings to to the pictures and. We can do it like uh, let's do it like no, we don't do it like that. Actually, because of chainability, we can just add it up here and continue from here. Um, I think that makes more sense. And we are just looking for images. And we use the each function to iterate through the images. First thing we would need, I think, is uh, yeah, we would need to know what the current image is. Um, so let's make a variable called current image, and that would be. I have a friend's keyboard on my computer. The old keyboard broke, so some things are not 
exactly as they would be. Hence all the typos. Okay, we have to. Th this is the current image. That's the whatever we start the iteration. So that would be like image. The first one. Next time the second one, of course. Uh, and we want to put some set. We want to uh, add some uh, CSS settings to uh, to each image. So current image, um, CSS, uh, so the first thing I want to do is I want to set the position to be absolute because as if you remember we want to place the pictures on top of each other so we can have the top one fade out and then the, the one underneath is going to be shown. So uh, position. Absolute, and um, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna place it in the top corner um, like this. So it's a top zero, left zero, and. Yeah, we probably need to set a set index also. So we could say that um, I could choose some kind of set index. Um, we could we could say that all pictures by default are at set at index ninety eight, and then the picture that's currently showing is going to be at set index ninety nine. So uh, when you fade out that picture, then the picture underneath we will change it's set index to be 99 so it's always on top and then we'll make a new picture visible behind it so when it fades then that picture is going to be shown I hope that makes sense now actually we would need uh, to know to know which picture we're at uh, at the moment um, because in the first iteration we we have to show the first picture as uh, index 99 and we have to show and we have to hide every picture after the third picture so we need some kind of counting system and we can get that by uh, run it up here let me see what we do we could, yeah we do image number up here let's do that so this would give us uh, the current image. So uh, we could say um, if oops, if image number uh, equals zero, that means we had the first image. Um, then we would change its set index to. That's not an CSS set uh, index um, 99. Yeah. So now we we make sure that the first image is gonna be on top, and uh, and then we want to hide everything else. So no, we don't want to hide everything else. We want to hide. We don't want to hide the next picture because the next next picture is the one that this one is going to fade into. So let's number uh, greater than greater than one. Yeah, greater, yeah, greater than one. So everything after. So let's see what, it, what happens. Zero. When it, when we have num image number zero, we add this. This is the first the first picture. When we add image number one, we add the second picture. And these two pictures, from the beginning, we want both of them to be visible. But we want this one to be on top. So actually, this one is not visible, but it is it's behind this this other picture so when we fade out this picture that picture is going to be visible 
that's why we do this and uh, that's what this says so um, an image uh, hide yeah and we want to hide everything else so we hide these and these two are visible with this one on top then we should be ready I think so yeah let's do that let's see if there's any good sense I think well we will find out when we start it if it doesn't work it doesn't mistake. so the way we're gonna we're gonna make this slide is we're gonna use the, the function called set integral and um, set integral and so it works like this I think we pass it in the end. Um, yeah, let's see. You so here we're gonna we're gonna tell the function how long the picture is gonna be shown. So we will refer to the settings up here. Settings and that's the duration. How long between each uh, how long is each interval gonna be? And the default is four seconds. Of course, you can change that. But so we're gonna we're gonna refer to this one. So settings duration. Like that. Um. Yeah. And so we need some. We're gonna fade. We're gonna fade in. Or out. We're gonna fade. We're gonna fade out. Yeah. We're gonna fade out the top picture. And we're going to use the fade out function, of course. So this image, which is this one, uh, and the first time we do this, it's going to be the first picture. We can change that later. Um, fade out, and the first parameter that we're going to handle is uh, the animation time. How long is the fade out going to take? And we're going to refer to this one, so. You know, that's a uh, you, you can customize so you can settings. Uh, what do I call that one? Anytime, okay. Anytime. So we're gonna do like that. I think we're gonna finish this one in, uh, in the next video. Uh, then I have a little bit of time to think it through. Yeah, we're gonna finish it in the next video. I think we're running a little bit out of time. So, uh, see you in a bit.